So how do you look professional when you're emailing your email list? You might only have 10 people on it, you might have 20 people, but I advise you to start emailing them as soon as you start building that list. It gives you confidence so that you start developing your voice because it's easier to send an email to 20 people than it is to 200 people or 2000 people. It gets, you kind of have to build that confidence while your list is so small so that you also know kind of your voice and what to send them. So one of my readers asked, um, I have an email address, but I'm going through my host because she has a self-hosted blog, awesome, but she's using the email client on her self-hosted um, website. And that is, that's hard because those email clients there, they're, they're mainly just there so that they can forward emails to your main client, like Gmail, if you're using that. So the way to actually connect your professional email and get it to get to your inbox is through these steps. So it's not difficult at all. Um, I did it actually one time and then it was so, so many little steps that I had to go through that I made a blog post about it just so that I could remember next time how to connect my email address to, um, to my, my Gmail. So pretty much what she's asking here to do is, whoopsie, let's, let me show you. Okay. So you probably have your blog, right? So you have, um, I'm Susie at start a mom blog. No, no, no. It's the other way. You start off as start a mom blog at gmail.com, right? So that's pretty much the email that you can get directly. You go to Gmail, you create a new account and at least has your blog name at gmail.com. So your blog name, name at gmail.com. But you don't want that because it could end up in spam. Um, when, when you're connecting your at Gmail email address <laughs> in ConvertKit, they might ask you to actually use a domain name email because those are much less likely to go to spam and it just looks way more professional. So, so instead of start a mom blog at gmail.com, you want to be Susie at start a mom blog.com or your name at your blog name. So how do you actually get this email address, your name at your blog name.com? So the way you actually get that professional email address is through your hosting provider. So you've bought that domain name, you own that blog. So now anything at that blog name you can have as your email address. And once you log into the C panel of your host, you can see, um, click on email accounts. So for SiteGround, um, that's the host that I use and love. Um, I'll go to the C panel, then I'll click on email accounts. Then I'll type in the email address that I want to have with my account. So I could type in Susie, John at start a mom blog, support at start a mom blog, students at start a mom blog. Um, you can type in all different types of email addresses there so that you can filter them or you can at least just set up your professional real name one. All right. So I just want to make sure this is still, yeah, this is good. Okay. Then once your email is, is created, you can go into the C panel where your email accounts are and click on forwarders. If you have SiteGround, if you have Bluehost or something else, the steps might be a little bit different. Um, I would reach out to their support, um, but it might be very similar. So once you create your domain name email address, then you go to forwarders and you actually forward that um, Susie at start a mom blog to your Gmail account, because it would be horrendous to try to manage all your emails in your hosting providers, email client. That would be very tricky. They don't have like all the labeling and all the like auto filling and your contact list. So just forwarding it to Gmail just makes it so much easier. So then you type in the email address that you just created and you set up your forwarding. So now once you go through those top steps, your email address is created at your domain name and it's forwarding to your Gmail. Now, once you're in Gmail, you want to do the opposite. You want to be able to send as that domain name email. So then in Gmail, you have to set up, set up an Eli. What do you, how do you, how do you say this? Elias? I can't say that today. Um, a nickname so that you look like that domain name email, but you're still sending from your Gmail account. So then you type in your new fancy domain name. Um, 
you connected with their servers. And what I did here for SiteGround, this was a little tricky to figure out how to do. I had to um, choose port 465. So these are like detailed steps, but this is why I made this whole blog post so that I won't forget how to do this in the future. Um, and then you verify your email, Gmail will send you an email, you'll type in that verification code, and then boom, you're finally done. Now when you compose an email from Gmail, where you're gonna use Gmail to send all your, or to, to reply to your emails, you'll use your ConvertKit or MailerLite to send your broadcast. Because you can't send an email to three, four, 500 people from Gmail. Gmail is gonna mark you as spam. That's why you have to use a ConvertKit or a MailerLite um, to be able to do that. But once you get replies to those broadcasts that you're sending through your email client service, then you can reply from Gmail with your domain name email. So you can see here, I have multiple domain name emails set up with <clears throat> Start a Mom blog. So you can see I have Susie, Support, John, everybody here. And then you can also set it up as your default send as email so that when somebody um, emails to you in Gmail, you're defaulting and sending back as Susie at Start a Mom blog instead of Start a Mom blog at Gmail. All right, so all the steps are here. I know I went through them quickly, but basically what you're doing is you are connecting, you're connecting your, you're creating an email address in your domain name and then it looks super professional. And then you're forwarding it to Gmail, and then in Gmail you're saying, okay, I want to be able to send as this email, this is me. And then that's all set up. So now you're looking professional, your, your name at yourblognname.com instead of yourblognname at gmail.com. All right, so you also have to do that. Um, I'm pretty much sure you have to do that for ConvertKit and MailerLite to be able to send um, professional emails.